আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়েলকাম টু মাই ক্লাস স্টুডেন্টস আই होप यू आर ऑल ऑल आर वेल बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ अलमाइटी अल्लाह आई एम आल्सो वेल फॉर द पेंडेमिक सिचुएशन यू आर टोटली एब्सेंट फॉर फ्रॉम आवर लेक्चर्स और क्लासेस फॉर योर बेटर हेल्प वी हैव अरेंज्ड सम वीडियो क्लासेस फॉर यू इन दिस situation i think the classes will help you smoothly and you should take part with us carefully attentively okay now let us start our class our today's topic is phrase or clause today we will learn what is phrase what is clause okay press for this press a press is a group of related words it has no subject or predicate and cannot stand alone okay students you should follow here very carefully what is phrase a phrase is a group of related words okay related words and another uh, characteristic it has no subject or predicate and cannot stand alone so to understand press you have to give more importance in this three sections group of words no subject no predicate cannot stand alone suppose book this is a word some letters have made the word book but if i say that excellent book excellent book that means the book is very good or excellent very nice here one word one word these two words have made and made a phrase okay it has no subject no predicate that means uh, if you get two or more than words in which you you can't get any kind of subject or predicate the that words are your phrase okay i hope you have got the idea uh okay in english there are more phrases the most important phrases are the main kinds of phrases the main kinds of phrases are noun phrase verb phrase adjective phrase adverbial phrase etc okay the students these kinds are very essential and crucial in english grammar uh to uh learn simple complex comp com compound sentences you have to uh, take a proper idea proper conception about phrase or clause without understanding them you can't make good in simple complex and compound sentence okay now we will uh, learn what is clause okay now go to the next part
clause. In the definition of clause, we can say that a clause, a clause contains a subject and a predicate. Okay. A clause contains a subject and a predicate and we can add something to understand the clause properly. Uh, it is a single part of a sentence which which has a subject and a finite verb of its own. The students, uh, follow here to understand clause. We have just uh, taken an example, uh, a definition that is uh, it contains a subject and a predicate. And uh, in the in adding a uh, position, we have added here that it is a single part of a sentence in which we will get a subject and a verb, and that verb is finite verb. Uh, you can ask me that what is finite verb. I have told uh, you in my before classes that finite verb is a verb that can express its meaning completely to express its meaning it has no need to take the uh, other uh, helps okay so then it it may just express it meaning clearly that verb is final verb and this verb also changes the tenses this verb uh, also like uh, uh, this verb also can change change its verb form okay now go to the next portion We'll uh, just give you an example. I made a garden which was nice. I made a garden which was nice. This is a full sentence. This is a sentence, but it has two clauses. It has two single parts, single elements. One element, I made a garden, another which was nice. I made a garden. In this sentence, we have got a clear meaning. Our listeners can understand the meaning of the sentence. It has a subject and a finite verb. So, this is a so this is a principal clause which was nice this portion in this portion the relative pronoun works at a subject and a verb also this is a finite verb but the difference between the clauses this clause can express its meaning completely but this clause can't express the meaning completely to express the meaning it uh, has to it has to take the help of the principal clause so this clause is subordinate clause i hope you have got the idea uh, you have got the difference between uh, principal clause and subordinate clause uh, actually, uh, the single part of a sentence is clause. Every part of a sentence is clause. Now we will learn the kinds of clauses. Kinds of clause. Clause is now actually clause is of three kinds three kinds number one 
principal clause principal clause number 2 subordinate clause number 3 co ordinate coordinate clause these clauses are very essential in english uh, grammar principal clause this is the uh, very important clause and it is called the core of english very crucial very essential so uh, actually both of them are crucial but principal clause has the extra quality extra demand in english okay now we will learn them In the definition of principal clause, we will get that this clause is a clause in which we will get a subject and a finite verb that can express the full meaning of the sentence. Just take an example. I gave him a book that was excellent i gave him a book here i subject gave finite verb and it uh, and they can express the meaning clearly so uh, so this sentence is principal clause because a subject and a finite verb and it doesn't take any kind of help from any other clauses rather it can express its meaning completely okay so this is the principal clause okay another clause another clause this is a clause this is subordinate clause in our definition we will learn that sour denied clause very important subordinate clause subordinate clause is a clause that has a subject and a finite verb also like principal clause but the difference between subordinate clause and the principal clause is that principal clause can create its meaning properly without the help of others but subordinate clause can't make the proper meaning of the sentence rather to uh, make the meaning of the sentence clear it has to take the help of principal clause. Okay, suppose if you study hard, you can shine in life. Shine in life. Students, uh, just follow here be attentive and serious if you study hard you can shine in life just look at the very first portion if you study hard if you just tell this thing and if you don't tell other things what will happen if you study hard if you just omit them just omit them if you study hard will the learners or the listeners can get the full meaning of the sentence i think no they will not get the full meaning of the sentence they will get the full meaning of the sentence when you will tell that you can shine in life so to to make the proper meaning of the sentence it needs it needs help of a principal clause here subject and finite verb this is principal clause but this portion is not a principal clause rather it is subordinate clause okay now follow here 
in the definition of subordinate clause we can say that subordinate clause is a clause which has a subject and a finite verb and it is connected with a subordinate subordinating conjunction or pronoun here if is a subordinate conjunction in every subordinate clause you will get some relative pronouns or some subordinate conjunctions okay suppose another example this is the man who is my cousin this is the man who is my cousin this one is this is the man complete say, complete meaning of the sentence so principal clause who is my cousin relative pronoun and verb but only if i tell that who is my, my cousin it doesn't make the proper meaning so this is subordinate clause okay now go to the next portion and this is the final portion this is the third number coordinate clause co or d nate clause what is the definition of coordinate clause to learn coordinate clause you have to uh, take clear idea about principal clause uh, in simply we can say that two or more principal clauses or independent clauses connected by a coordinating conjunction like and or but then we can call that this clause is coordinate clause that means coordinate clause is a clause is a clause belonging to a series belonging to a series of two or more than independent clauses in the pen dent clause this okay two or more than independent clauses connected by connected by and or connected by a coordinating conjunction co or d netting conjunction conjunction such as and or what 